Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be sharing my new stack for 2023, at least the first half. None of these are going to be too much of a surprise, but I've got a few little tweaks in here from last year. I will share some stack videos in the um, description below if you want to check out like how my style has changed over the past few years. I think I've done them all the way back until like 20... 17 or something. I don't know. I'll leave them down below. You can check them out if you want. For my stack, I have four planners. All of these have a specific purpose. I have done videos in the past like how my system works together. If you want to see that again, let me know down below. I can do that in like January or February and I always love doing those videos. They take kind of a while to film and put together but they're fun to do and you get to see like how they all work for me and together. So we're just gonna go from the top to the bottom. I'll tell you all about them individually, but just to start, let me introduce them. First, we have my Moxie Life Companion Notebooks. This is my goal setting system. Then I have my new Moxie Life A5 Vertical Priorities. It is neutral, it is undated, it's so beautiful. It has a gold coil, we'll get into it. This is my new Sadie's Stickers Memory Planner. This is a seven by nine sticker planner. This gives me everything I need for a blank slate for all of my memory keeping. And then I have my teacher planner. This is the seven by nine. It's new this year. This is the ECTLP, but in the seven by nine version. And it's so, so nice. It's like so neutral. I'll show you all the insides in just a minute. So let's start up at the top with my Moxie Life companion notebooks. So these notebooks are just amazing to me because I've been using the Moxie Life system since 2019. And it's really like, I don't say this lightly, like change my life. I love them so much. They just totally keep me in line with my goals and like I check in every week. It's amazing. So here are my annual goals. I have them all set up in the little booklet that comes with the companion notebooks. There are four of them. I've got my intentions, my word of the year. I've got my annual goals here. And then I just finished my word of the year mind map. So all of the important stuff is in this booklet. And then there's four of these little um, A5 notebooks for my monthly goals and my weekly actions every week. So I just love this system. I'm really, really going to work on reflection this year. It's something I let slide about halfway through 2022. So that is a focus that I want to make in these notebooks because they give you the space to do reflection. Like I always do the monthly reflections. It's the weekly ones that I'm not so good at. So we're going to work on it, see how it goes. If you want to check out my goal series, I will link that down below as well. But I'm just excited to get into these because they're kind of redesigned. They're just streamlined and pretty. And I have all of the Moxie markers to go with them, which is just perfect. So this is my everyday planner, which works side by side with my goal planner. They are just like little buddies together. And they work hand in hand because I'll take things from my goal planner and put them in here. And then I'll look at what's ahead in here and plan for it in my goal planner. So they really are like besties. This planner is new to my stack in that it is the new undated version and it is completely neutral, which I'm so excited about. I feel like I've been held captive by the plum paper. Oh, it's a little dramatic. I feel like I've been forced to work with the plum paper colors, which they are pretty. This is the modern colorway, but like every single week you have to work with the monthly colors and sometimes I just don't like to and then I mess up my spread because I try to like fight it like that and then it just doesn't work right. But um, this planner, as you will see, gorgeous, neutral. I love it. So I already set this up. Um, I do have a set of video if you want to check that out. But here is a monthly spread. This is how I'm setting up my monthlies in here. The only thing is like I have to date it and everything, which is fine. And then here is the weekly layout. It's just like perfection for me. Like my planning has definitely changed over the years. I've been decoratively planning for... I don't know, since 2014. And like this layout for me right now in my life, perfection. I love it so much. I'm so excited to get in here. It's just like, I, I, it's perfect for me. I love it. This does have all of 2023 in here. I don't know if I'll get that far with this cover. It's a little thick. And I think once my planner gets a little chunky, I'm gonna have to switch to one of the interchangeable covers, which I like anyway, and I might change too because I love them. But I do think this cover is beautiful and I love the gold coil. I'm just not a fan of silver anymore. 
this is just so pretty. I love it. Oh, it's so good. So these guys work together. And then I have my memory planner. This is the new 2023 version from CD Stickers. It is seven by nine. And this is my memory keeper. I just love this. I haven't done really anything to it yet. I don't use these pages. I just go straight to the monthly pages. And these are thankfully Sunday starts now. It confused me. It confused me all the way through 2022, but we're good now. We have a Sunday start. I think a lot of people told her, like, please do a Sunday start. Then here is the weekly. There's only a couple of changes here. The um, bottom off sheet section is a little bit shorter to make this section bigger. I think because people want a deco area up here, which I do that quite a bit. So not mad about that. But I think that if I have thick washi down here, I can always like push things up just a little bit. And there's little lines, very, very faint dotted lines creating three sections. I won't use that because that doesn't really fit with my style, but it's kind of nice because I will keep my stickers a little bit straighter, I think. We'll have to see how it goes. I, I like this. It's different, but I like it. This just has all of 2023 in it. I chose the black coil this year just because I wanted to mix it up. I've done gold coil for quite a few years, so I just wanted something different. And then I've got my V cover from EC ready to go on here. It's just so pretty. I love it. So this will be the first cover that I start with on this planner. One of the reasons that I love it is because you can use all of your old covers from EC or wherever you have them. I just love this. This is just a blank slate and it works really well for me. And lastly, we have my teacher planner. I just put this cover on it. it this is an old cover, but I love it so much. It just is so bright and cheery. But this is the EC 7x9 teacher planner. I've gotten halfway through the year with it and I love it. Let's look at a just a blank week. This is just such a great layout for me. Again, I'm loving the neutral blank slates, something that I can work with and make it my own. It's just like hitting me right now and I love it. And it has a gold coil, which is so pretty. It did take some getting used to because I was using the eight and a half by 11 previously. So, but it wasn't much of a change for me. I just kind of shrank down just a little bit. So I use my monthlies for planning out my lesson plans and um, anything like big events we have going on. And then I use the left side for like my classroom stuff and then the right side for all of my instructional coaching duties or like admin stuff over here. This system works really well for me. I know some people don't like the horizontal, they want a vertical, which I think I could get used to, but I've been using this for a while now, so I'm just kind of used to it. So, but this is just, I got a little crazy with the stickers here in like November, December. So I think I'm going to back off a little bit in January, kind of simplify again, but I do really, really like this so much. So I currently use four planners. This is what works for me. I like my life separated into different planners. I don't want my teaching stuff in with my everyday stuff. I want my goals separate from my everyday plans. You do what you want to do because it's your life. It's your own plans. So you make the decision for yourself, but this is what works for me and I am loving it right now. I'm really excited to get into my new A5 plum paper, the undated neutral. Oh, it's so good. Tell me about your stack down below. I'd love to hear. I'm always curious about what people are using these days and how they work together. Do you use more than one planner? Do you use five or six? How does your system work? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I will see you next time. Bye.